Hello everybody and welcome back to the Let's Play of Zoo Tycoon with the scenarios and this today we're doing the next scenario which is the Inner City Zoo on Intermediate. Uh, it's a Zoo Tycoon scenario, Intermediate, it's right after the uh, previous scenario which was revitalised Burkittsville Zoo which again was Intermediate and it was uh, just a regular Zoo Tycoon scenario. Uh, I'm aware that I cut off the video before we actually technically won the scenario uh, with the Bukitsville one, uh, the reason being simply that uh, between the time that I cut off the video and actually winning the scenario, I think it was about six months, uh, literally nothing happened of any interest. I mean, I built a few exhibits, but I didn't actually have to f to meet and win the scenario. So really, it was just a case of sitting back and waiting for money to pile in, and... Uh, yeah, I mean, the thing is, is, like, we'd won the scenario, and none of the requirements for winning the scenario ever changed, so, yeah, like, no animals escaped, guest happiness, animal happiness, zoo rating, they were all really high, um, I mean, I could have recorded, but it would have been, like, an extra half an hour, and really, nothing happened of any interest. Anyway, um, so, new day, new scenario. Inner City Zoo. As a member... I'm going to unpause, it, actually. As a member... Actually, I'm not, because that noise is going to get annoying. As a member of the Mayor's Task Force on Urban Renewal, you have been put in charge of creating the city's first zoo. Cramped conditions in the city's core make this task very difficult. Available land is at a premium, and the city can only afford to purchase a small plot for the zoo. Your main challenge in this scenario will be space, to which you'll have to pay close attention. Your zoo's confined space will affect its layout, limiting how much you can fit within ally within the allotted area. You have 12 month contract in which to complete these tasks. So in 12 months we need a zoo rating of 55 easy. Guest happiness 85 not easy but simple enough. I mean we we had about 95 in the previous zoo so 85 isn't difficult. Animal happiness 78 not difficult. And at least 6 animal species. So we need 6 ex well not six exhibits, but six different animal species. Um, and we don't have a whole lot of space. I mean, we have enough. But not a lot. And also we need to be profitable, and we only start with $25,000. So. Uh, I think as a first exhibit, we will build... Um, lions, because they're popular with guests. And fairly cheap. But I'm going to have to really like, be on the limit with like how much space we have and how much we use. Um, which is... Uh, there we go. So it's a bit of a weird shape, but it works. But the thing is, as well, is we do need to make some money. Of course. Um, money may be an issue. It's only starting with $25,000. Uh, the exhibit is big enough, which is uh, nice. So let's just build as normal. Okay, that's that done, and rocks. In fact, actually I'm going to hide the trees and make it a bit easier for me to see what I'm doing. Okay, and Terran. Savannah, sand, dirt, fresh water. Can't remember the ratio, but I know that's what they require. Excellent. I, I don't know what that does, to be honest. I keep saying that every time I get it. I should probably know by now. It might just increase the zoo rating. I don't know. And a bit of fresh water. Too much. And that is built. Yeah, that background noise of the car horn is going to get really annoying, but 
nothing I can do about that, I don't think. Unless there's a setting somewhere to just turn off background noise. Um, anyway, let's put in the restaurant here. Um, actually, I'm going to change this path up. Since this will be like a main path, it'll probably get quite congested, so I'm going to want to double that up. Uh, let's put in the compost building, actually. Put it right in the corner, where it won't fit, annoyingly. Hmm. Because the thing is, is you can literally place these anywhere and they'll still make money. Um. And we are basically out of money, so... Animal theatre won't fit there, but we can fit in a carousel. I think. No, maybe not. Okay, let's just level some Terran. Or not, actually. We are low on money. Let's put in the... Um... I can't want another exhibit there. Oh. Hmm. No, I think I'll actually keep the Terran as it is and build another exhibit there make use of this uh, weird terrain or terrain. Can we put an animal theatre there? Hmm. No, I think I'm just going to level level this terrain. Stick in an animal theatre. It still won't fit. Could fit in a carousel. Hmm. Where can, I, where can I fit this stupid carousel? No. Level some more terrain. Put in an animal theatre. There we go. Because obviously space is going to be a bit of an issue. Because we still need to be a profitable zoo. And let's put in... I mean, technically that satisfies all the guests' needs, but obviously it's not massively diverse. Ah, oh, I can't... There we go. That'll do. Right. Now put in the second exhibit, and I think we'll do... Uh, hang on. How, how far does that come out? One, two, three, four. So, five, six, seven, eight. So that should be big enough. Put that there. And uh, Bengal tigers, because they're going to be popular uh, with guests. And hopefully that is a big enough thing. Yeah, it's not quite big enough. I think that'll be. Actually, it's only five big, isn't it? Hmm. Is that big enough? Still not big enough. Damn. I'm going to need to level some terrain as well. Or terrain. Terrain, terrain. I think it's terrain. I keep calling it terrain, but I don't know why. Because I'm an idiot. That's why. Ah, there we go. We've got 10,000 funds. Because we're low on cash. No. Yes. Still not big enough. Fuck's sake. Like. Seriously. God damn it. Right. Okay. Get rid of... No. Yes. Is that big enough now, Mr. Tiger? Yeah, that's big enough. Right, okay. Ugh, God's sake. On the plus side, the, um... The goals themselves aren't difficult. We only need the, uh... Obviously, the main difficult goal will be making money and um, actually fitting in all the whoops, all the um, exhibits themselves. And I've made a mess of this. Nothing new there, but I've just made a mess of it.
Right. So that is okay. You need rocks and trees. Oops. Too many. And some trees. I do have the trees hidden at the moment, but that's not an issue. The thing is, I may, as me I may as well make the exhibit suitability as high as possible because A, it's good practice, and B, it makes the guests happier if the animals are happier. Uh, and if the guests are happy, they're more likely to stay in the zoo, which gets me more money. So let's increase the price on this. Wrong button. Seventeen. Increase the price of that to seven. So that's already making money. This is making a loss, annoyingly. And the compost building is making no money yet. If I get a zookeeper, because the animals are starting to get hungry and start to poo all over the place. Immature, I know, but that is the, that is literally the situation. They're pooing all over the place. They're animals. What do you expect? Anyway. Put a carousel in there. And if I level this terrain a bit, I can fit in a gift shop. Like there. There we go. Actually, put it like that, and then we can fit in more path. Like that. And then I want... Well. Put in an exhibit here. And since we already have a load of hills. And uh, stony sort of stuff. We can put in a big horn sheep. Uh... Because they require stone and, like, hills. Wrong shelter. There we go. And the exhibit is big enough, which is good. Anyway. Let's build their exhibit. Yeah, they require a lot of stone. Probably some fresh water, to be honest. Uh, sage bush and rocks. Oops, wrong button. Or too many, rather. In fact, actually, I think you can just do, like, the uh, the foliage trick to increase their um, exhibit suitability even more. And I think, I think it is game design as opposed to being a glitch. Um, still requires more hills. That's weird. That's fine. Okay, suitability 92. So that's fine. The thing is, is that even though there's like a massive cliff there, they can't actually escape the zoo. These uh, zoo boundary walls, not only are they indestructible and never decay, they're also like infinitely tall, so animals can never actually escape. Anyway, zoo rating 81. Animal happiness 98, guest happiness 87. Uh, so we've met everything apart from the six different species. And I just realized the gift shop needs to be increased in price to $10. That's making money. That's still making a loss. Interesting. Or rather worrying, rather, I suppose. 
level the Terran over here and we can put something down here. But what? Uh, elephant ride? That does not fit. And also I'm not sure if that's such a good idea. Um, let's call this in as always. Raise the price up. Making money, but... In fact, how, I mean, how do we do for... I mean, we did get given 15,000... Or rather, 25,000 for an award and running low money. Uh, so... Even with that all into account... Um, we did make a tiny profit. We did make a small profit. Uh, let's also actually increase the price to 30. Guest happiness 91, and we'll have this 99, zero rating 82. Now, boring I know, but it does cut costs. We're going to put a bison exhibit. Because uh, obviously we have a lot of grass already, so that uh, cuts costs and is an exhibit, so. I think that'll be big enough. Gonna need to level some terrain. Um. Yep, that's fine. Put in more path, and may as well grade that. Uh, so already we'll have four exhibits, and then another two over here, and we've got enough space. So let's put in bison. I think after this exhibit, we'll just have to sit back and wait for some money to pile in. Because we'll basically be out of money. Uh, rocks. Mm, right. Foliage. And some fresh water, of course. In fact, that may be a bad idea, because I don't want to create an island. Because then you get poo in places that can't be cleaned up. So. That's always a bad idea. In fact, actually. Let's just put it in the corner. And there we go. Suitability 94. And as for the other two exhibits, um, I haven't decided. I mean, we do have quite a lot of hilly terrain, so maybe something that requires a bit of hills, like a grizzly bear. We are in danger of this compost building. Um, hopefully guests won't wander all the way over here. Let's put in some zoo signs. Still don't know what these do. I think they increase happiness, but I can't be certain. Oh! I've been given $25,000 for uh, guest happiness 95. Um, that's uh, very pleasant, because now I can build the other two exhibits. So, this scenario's just been made a lot easier. Um, I think I'll build the grizzly bear exhibits. I don't... No where. Hmm. I think delete these paths and build the bear exhibit over here. Because they do require some uh, some hills, obviously. Uh, Ten by eight should be big enough. 
I think that's just big enough. Uh, male. Excuse me. Female. It's not big enough. Damn. Okay, so let's make it bigger. Is that... No, it's still not big enough. Damn. Okay, let's make it a tiny bit bigger. Or just a bit bigger, rather. I think that's big enough. Don't want to delete the path. No, yes. No. Uh, that is big enough. Right. Okay. I am aware that they're unhappy, but obviously they will be fixed in time. Um, put in the... Put in the terrain. The terrain. Apparently it's too steep. Interesting. But I can fix that later. Um... Whoops. Accidentally terrained outside the uh, exhibits, which is always money spent on nothing, so it's just pointless. That's the thing, editing the terrain outside an exhibit is uh, completely pointless. Because you're spending money on something you don't need. Anyway, uh, more fresh water. It's too steep and they need more trees and more rocks. So... I think it was... I mm, can't remember actually. Yellow cedar tree. Hide the trees so I can see the faces so I can see what I'm doing. Obviously they're bears so they need a lot of trees. Put in some rocks. Okay. Alrighty then. And the turn is too steep, so let's level it down a bit. That's not doing any good. God's sake. That's better. Still too steep. That's fine. Okay. And the last exhibit. I think we'll do some moose. Because uh, they're fairly cheap. And they don't require a lot of space. Uh, that's not enough space to put in exhibits. So we can put a guest building in there. Um... We already have every, we already have the four basic things: um, the carousel, the gift shop, the animal theatre, and the restaurant. But we can put in well, we can fit a petting zoo, or we can't fit a Japanese garden. Uh, they don't make any money; they just literally increase the guest happiness. But they increase the guest happiness a lot. But only a few people can enter at a time, which is a bit annoying. Um, no, I think a petting zoo would be good. Uh, that increases guest happiness, it doesn't make any money, but really, not an issue. In fact, actually, let's hide everything so I can actually see what I'm doing. Put the buildings back in. Um, hide them again. Rotate. There we go. And people are already using it. Or going in it. Which is always good. What's this guy to say? I really like the petting zoo. Good for you. Good to know. Um. Yeah, everything's making money. And we have met the goals. Except we need one more exhibit. 
Guest timing is 94. Animal happiness 97. Zoo rating 84. So yeah, I mean... Even though you don't get a lot of space, you get enough space to be profitable and exhibit six different species. I mean, we haven't built six species yet, but... Could fit something there. Elephant ride doesn't fit. Oh, that was it. I was going to build another path. I was thinking, like, why have I not used that bit of space? That's another thing, obviously. If you've got limited space, you want to use up as much space as you can. Um, and don't waste space. I mean, like, there. Kind of wasted. In fact, actually, what can we put there, if anything? Hide the trees. What can we put there? can we put there? Nothing, really. Just some paths. Or some paths. But here, I feel like we should put something, and I can't think what. Because uh, we've got everything we need. We don't need another carousel. Elephant ride doesn't fit. We can't do dinosaur digs or marine mania buildings. We're stuck with zoo tycoon buildings. We don't need anything. So maybe just like a... A scenery building. Like a duck pond. Or a turtle fountain. Yeah, maybe just a duck pond would be best. Um, and then put in path here uh, and then more path here yeah that works uh, and as for here the final exhibit we do have a bit of hills or we build here which is more flat which would be cheap. Well, not cheaper, but maybe easier. I am wary of that. Whoops. I'm wary of the compost building. Because the thing is, is the compost building does decrease guest happiness. So. Put the path out here. I mean, obviously, it's not like... It's not like it's going to rapidly decrease the guest happiness. We only need 85, and that's not an issue. Hmm. Unless I just flat, unless I just level the terrain and put it over here. And then what would I put over here? Uh. I could put another exhibit, I guess. Hmm. I'm not sure. Level that terrain. Or... I put, like, a Japanese garden. Which would technically fit. And it would increase the guest happiness. It wouldn't be massively used, because it is kind of out of the way. I just realised I need a maintenance... Facil uh, maintenance facility, maintenance worker, and I need a tour guide, and I need a map of the zoo. I sh might want to put in some statues or something. Seems appropriate that we put in big horn statues near the big horn exhibit. It's almost like I thought it through, but I obviously didn't. Because if anyone knows me, they know I don't think things through. Uh, we don't need benches. So I think we'll just put in like some hedges. Just make the guests a bit happier. 
Not that they really need to be any ma made any happier, they're already pretty happy. As they are. Hmm. Oh! Let's try and put it in the uh, wrong place. There we go. Yeah, because there's a whole load of guests here, it just means that the the um, the main pathway is a bit less congested if it's double, because obviously space is an issue. Um, and the guest happiness is 96, animal happiness 99, zero rating 85. Uh, that will possibly go up if we build another. It should go up if we build another exhibit. I'm still not sure what to build though. I mean. We do have some hills, so it would make sense to build something that requires a bit of hill. But what? Hmm. What requires some hills? Well, there's quite a lot of things that require some hills, but what is cheap-ish and popular? that requires hills. Hmm. I don't know. I might just level the Terran and build the moose, as I said I would. So let's just do that. Yeah, it's pretty cheap to level the Terran actually, so... Uh. Let's just build that exhibit. It says it's exhibit 11 because uh, we merged a lot of exhibits earlier because exhibits weren't big enough. Not that we have 11 exhibits. Uh, that is a big enough exhibit, so everything is fine. Uh, we have basically won the scenario with uh, half the time that we actually needed. So again, I'm probably going to end this video short, because nothing's going to happen, really. Um, there we go. Too many. Uh, rocks. Wrong rock. It sounds stupid to say wrong rock, because they're all the same. Um, like, but if you care about um, suitability, you always want to go with the smallest rock. You received additional funding of $15,000. Why? Is that just a scenario-specific thing? Like, after six months, you receive $15,000 for no reason? I mean, I'm not complaining, it just seems a bit weird. Anyway. That's enough water, apparently. Oh, they require some grass, apparently. It would help if I hide the trees and I could see what I was doing. And that is fine. So, 98 suitability rating. And I think... Hmm. Still undecided with what to do over here. Guest happiness 94, animal happiness 97. Do I... Oh shit, we're going to need another zookeeper. Because A, there's a lot of poo over here. And B, we're probably going to get some hungry animals. Although actually, no, there aren't any hungry animals at the moment. Zero rating 85. Hang on, what was that? $5,000 for quality animal care. Uh, not sure... What the requirements are for that, but... $5,000 is $5,000. Saying lion can't find any food. Well, 
that's why we need the other zookeeper. I mean, raking up poo, raking up poo. Go feed the lions. You can rake up poo later, but feeding the lions is more important at the moment. What are you doing? Going to exhibit one. Well, that's the lions. Like, you don't need to. Don't go to exhibit one. Go over here. Clean up poo. There we go. And you're cleaning up poo. Tough life being a zookeeper. One, you have to clean up poo a lot. And two, there's a very, uh, very real probability that at some point during your shift, of which you never go home, you always have to work, uh, and also days go by very quickly, so, um, you, even though you get paid on a monthly basis, you only make $800 a month, so you actually only make $4,800, sorry, that's not right, $9,600 a year, which, by anyone's standards, is not enough. That lion jumped onto that rock and it kind of fell into the floor temporarily. It's a bit weird. Yeah, the lion babies have become adults and now the exhibit isn't big enough. I forgot to say, they gave birth to... Fuck. Right. They gave birth to two females. I was hoping it would be like a female and a male. Oh well. Eh, uh, actually, let's keep one of them. There we go. So now, two females and a male. I'm not sure whether the male will mate with its daughter or not. It sounds gross, but I think family isn't a thing in this game. So I think, for all intents and purposes, that male will just treat that daughter like a female. And potentially mate with it. I don't know. I think it does, but I can't be sure. A lot of people go into the petting zoo. Which is good. That's making money. That's making money. That's making money. That's making money. In fact, if we just look at profit for June, which isn't even over yet. Uh, yeah, we were given $20,000 for doing nothing. Well, awards and $15,000 for doing nothing for some reason. No. $5,000 for an award, $15,000 for doing nothing, as I thought. Um, we're making like $5,000 a month profit. Uh, guest traffic is 96, zero rating 86. I still can't decide what to do with this space. Because we've used up all the other space. Like, there isn't a tile left, I don't think. I mean, this here, which I've just basically wasted. Like, there's nothing I can do here. Um, could put in some fence. Not fences. Let's put in a hedge. Where's the hedge? There it is. This makes the zoo look a bit nicer. Excuse me. No. Okay. Um, that person just walking through a hedge. Uh, nothing unusual about that. Ah, but what to put here? I could spend money on research. I guess. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah, we, don't, we only have to worry about Zoo Tycoon. Six months left to complete the scenario. We have beaten the scenario. Nothing's going to happen. Like, I'm probably going to end the video early, but... Uh, animal enrichment, animal care, animal shelters. Don't really need staff education. Because, well, that's useless. Don't need that. Can we afford it, actually? Like, look at June. Ignore the $20,000 that we basically got for free. And we made $3,700 plus $4,300. So that's $8,000. So 
So at maximum funding of $66 a day times 2 times 30, um, that is, well, 66 times 30 is uh, 1800 well, 2000 So it'd be $4,000 a month. So we can't actually afford that. Hmm. Do I put in an animal house? Well, I think we should get that. Animal house? Yeah. Or do I get a... Japanese garden? I think I'm just going to get a Japanese garden. And that way, we're hiding the compost building with something the guests are actually going to use. Hopefully. It won't, it won't make any money. Uh, but... It doesn't make any money, but... Um, Hopefully, guests will use it. Although, no one's using it at the moment. Which is a bit weird when you consider it's free. Uh, I'm hoping people will use it. There are guests over here. And I just realised we need... Because uh, of its signs... I think you only need one per exhibit, but I can't be sure. Like, if you have two, does it do anything? Does one even do anything? I don't know. There we go. You get, uh, what the game interprets as Oriental Japanese music. Uh, people are actually going into the, um... Oops. People are using the, uh, Japanese garden. What do I have to say about it? That Japanese garden was lo or the Japanese garden is lovely. Uh, it just increases guest happiness. And it just so happened to fit, and... This space is technically now... Well, it's just a mess, really. It's just a big waste. Like, we don't have anything to... We don't have anything to, uh... I mean, the thing is, it's like... You only ever need one compost building. You don't ever need two compost buildings. Um, but w for this space, it's it's not needed. It's spare, really. Um, in fact, it's not even a spare. It's just it's it's kind of wasted. But like the zoo is profitable. We've used up as much space as we need. And as we're given, to be fair, I mean, like, there's really not a whole lot left. Like, I, I have no extra space to build an extra exhibit. Like, we have six exhibits, no more, no less. Uh, guest happiness 96, animal happiness 97, zero rating 86. Well above what we require. Uh, I'm going to save the game as Inner City Zoo. Um, and if we just look at July. Uh, we've made... Well, add on that and that. So that's 3,000. We've made 5,000 so far just in July. In profit. That's if we weren't researching. Um, and it's still going up because the month isn't over yet. Guess what? It's gone to 97. That Japanese garden does actually make people very happy. You haven't used it. Uh, wow, people are using that Japanese garden. So they should, but uh, I don't think it'd be as popular as it is. Uh, rock cave, we can actually... Holy crap. Yeah, there's too many animals. Um, okay, so that is a female, and that's a male. So let's just get rid of these originals. And then we've got one male and one female. And it's feeling crowded by too many guests. 
Not really a lot I can do about that unless I want to start blocking off bits of the exhibits. Which is always... It's, it's a risky idea. Um... Interestingly, American Bighorn Sheep 1 doesn't actually fit in the name, so it's just called American Bighorn, but when you actually look at it, is it's, it's called American Bighorn... Well, She 1. It's because the name's just too long. Uh, how are the bisons doing? They want more animals of the same type. Still a bit poo in there. Let's get another zookeeper, actually. So, three zookeepers for six exhibits. That's... Fine. At least it should be. Yeah, that, that, um... That Japanese garden's really helping. We don't make any money from it. But it's only $50 a month, and it really seems to increase the animal ha uh, <coughs> The guest happiness. I keep calling my... I keep getting confused between animal happiness and guest happiness. Although, for all intents and purposes... The guests and the animals. Like. Um. They come in, they spend money. Like. <laughs> we say we care about them, but we really don't. Let's face it. We don't need any more shelters. Um. Grizzly Beth 3 is very sick. Well then go fix him. Or well, not fix him. Uh, take care of him. We don't need any of that. Uh, we don't really need animal care either. Let's have this 90... Yeah. Um, may as well keep that on actually I suppose. Let's replace these shelters with rock caves. And hide everything so I can actually see what we're doing. Actually, keep the trees on. Get rid of that. Replace it with that. Uh, get rid of that. Replace it with that. So you're supposed to be 91? Well, I think we can increase that. Let's put in some more trees. So you're supposed to be 95. Excuse me. So you're supposed to be 97. Uh, So it's supposed to be 95. Hmm. There you go, so it's supposed to be 97. Or 99, actually. So that is fine. Uh, so it's supposed to be 99. Put everything back. So it's supposed to be 92. Let's actually increase that a bit. We may as well. Difficult because they're on because uh, it's on a hill. Ninety seven, ninety six. Huh, that's annoying. Yeah, it's just going down. I think 97 might be the limit. 96. 97. 98. That'll do. 98. Uh, the bison, 94. Hmm. Ninety six. Whoops. Ninety 
It's really about just exploiting the uh, foliage. 99, that's good enough. Bear, how are you doing? 99. And moose. Like, there we go. 98. Uh... Well, that's not worked. Huh. Ninety-nine. There we go. So I think that is an exhibit suitability of ninety-eight or ninety-nine for everything. Looks like it. So yeah. Uh, where are the tigers? Oh, there he is. Yep. Suitability 98 or higher for every animal. Uh, I mean, with more research, it might be possible to get it up to 100, but it's not a necessity. Why has the guest happiness gone down to 95? It was 97 earlier. Some hungry guests will go to the restaurant. Which is making a fortune. As is that, and that. And the petting zoo is very popular. And that's making a fortune. Everything is very popular. I think the problem is, is there might be too many guests. So they can't get to places. Maybe the restaurant is overcrowded? I don't think it is. I think the restaurant has infinite capacity. Maybe these paths are just too, too overcrowded. Actually, this has gone up to 100 suitability. Maybe there's a bit poo, I don't know. That's still 99. I don't know why that would go up. Uh, that's 98. That's 99. Um, I think everything's functioning as it should. Um, I could put in some more f hedges, actually. If we can ever actually fit them in, because I think the guests are going to be in the way. Yeah. We can't, we can't place them because there's like a guest in the way. I'm not sure if that would block the entrance or not. Like, really, I have nothing to do with this area, so I'm just using it for... I've accidentally zoomed in too much. Um, hedges. Because it's like, well, what else do I use it for? Really. Like, yeah. I thought I'd put in a zoo map. Why not putting maps? Oh. Well, I'm an idiot. Um. Okay, hang on. Move these guests out the way, and then I can put my map where I want it. That is a lot of guests, to be honest. I the buildings, actually. Uh, not that it really makes a difference for what I want to do. There we go. And, uh, what's something small we can fit in? Um huh, what's something really small that we can put in? Japanese stone lantern? Would fit. Let's put one of them in. In that case. And we can't fit in because I think that guests in the way. That one there. So move them out of the way. And then we can put it in. Okay. Does nothing. It's just uh, 
I'm kind of running out of things to do. Because, I mean, we still have, uh, well, half of September, and then October, November, December, so that's three and a half months. And uh, nothing's going to happen, so... Um, I'm just buying my. I'm just biding my time right now. I mean, uh, like, so, so rating's gone down for some reason. From like eight, it was eighty-seven, I think, earlier, and that's now eighty-five. But yeah, we've we've easily won the scenario. So. Hmm. Maybe we do need another zookeeper. Let's just look at finances. Um, interestingly, we haven't made that many admissions to the zoo. Uh, like, not many guests have come in so far. But, I mean, if we just look at August... We made $8,500 profit in August. And this month in September, which isn't even done yet, we've made 1200 Add on the research, and we're making 2500 so, yeah, not an issue. And we've also got fifty thousand dollars. Where did that come from? I don't know. Just making money out of that. Well, making money without really trying. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to end the video because uh, we have basically won the scenario. So, let's just pause the game, save the game again. Yes, and. Um, yeah, I think we're going to end the video because, like, there's three months left and nothing's going to happen. I've run out of things to say. So, anyway, that is the end of this video. Uh, leave a comment below, like this video. I thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more content. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, folks.